Mike Tyson is now wondering what's wrong with Canelo. Is he afraid of losing? Let's talk. Push the weight in the flex, flex the lavish one in the six. Fit the runner boy, you nigga, no question. Yo, you would run a motherfucker high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker, never learn your lesson. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boof. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boof. I mean, they walk a drink, blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker, change like a hope. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Um, Mike Tyson is now questioning the professional integrity of Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's asking, is he afraid of losing? Now, you know, this term, the Mexican monster was given to David Benavides by Mike Tyson. And, you know, he gave it to David and I said, all right, you know, he has some time, he has to prove that. And he's done just that. David has proven to be a monster. And on top of him uh, beating Caleb Plant and salute to Caleb Plant, um, stopping Demetrius Andre giving him his first loss by stoppage. Um, something that Canelo didn't do all of six or seven years ago because, you know, the, the boo-boo fight was there and uh, he didn't do it. So um, David had to come in and take care of that work for him and he did that. Um, but what's worse than that is Canelo simply not fighting him. He's been his mandatory for about, what is it, like more than two years? He's been the mandatory challenger at 168 for more than two years? You know, so now Mike is accusing Canelo of disrespecting uh, 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 like, like Mexican boxing, something to that effect. All right, he's he walked away from a lucrative date with David Benavidez, and now Mike Tyson is like, yeah, what, what, what's going on here? Are you afraid? Let me read you something. Samson Lokowitz, Benavidez manager, claimed in a recent week's uh, uh, interview, he said Canelo rejected an offer to face Benavidez only for Canelo's manager, Eddie Reynoso, to spurned the notion that the offer Lakewood's discuss was put to him or it wasn't put to him or Canelo. Now, look, I'm not going to play these word games. Oh, you sent him the uh, offer, not me, or you spoke to him, not me. No, you spoke to me, but not him. And you said this. I'm not going to play this game. I keep it simple over here. We're not going to play word salad. We're not going to say, oh, well, you, you know, check the fax machine and you never, you never sent me the fax and, oh, I got the, oh, I'm, I typed up the email, but I didn't click send. We're not going to play none of those games. Last time a game like this was played, and I'm not kidding, it was Tiafimo Lopez. And for those of you that don't remember, let me bring you up the speed. Tiafimo Lopez was on a live stream on Instagram. He's jumping rope and he's working out. He says, yo, look, man, whoever sends me a fax is who's going to get the fight. Whoever's going to send me the fax with, a, with an offer, that's who's getting the fight. Turns out, Bill Haney was on trail boxing talk at that moment. And people came into the comment section. I'll never forget this. They came into the comment section. They said, yo, Bill, Tiafima Lopez is live right now on the gram talking about whoever sends me a fax in reference to fighting me, that's who gets to fight. And Bill's on there saying, hey, man, you know, we, we sent him offers. What, you, what is he talking about? What is he talking about? The man was lying, had no idea that Bill Haney was on a stream 
Cheryl Boxing Talk. We miss it. He's talking about, what is he talking about, man? We sent him an offer. What does he mean? And for those of you that follow me and follow Trill, y'all remember that. That kid was lying in real time. He told me, oh, we sent Bill an offer. Bill was like, I'm right by my fax machine. We got no offer. We got a response. Told me we responded to him. He says, no, you did not. But I know Bill be capping. But, but back to Canelo. Got Mike Tyson questioning his professional integrity. Are you scared of David Benavidez? Well, it's probably why. David Benavidez at 168 is a mountain of a man. He's a mountain of a man. And I also heard in the recent uh, uh, um, in, 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 in a recent video about uh, this situation. Did Eddie Reynoso, now I didn't research this. Y'all let me know. Did Eddie Reynoso say that Canelo has to weigh his options because there's certain things that he don't have to do at this advanced age in his boxing career? Did he say something close to that? If he said that, that is a duck. Heavy is a head that wears the crown. You have four responsibilities, but the best and major, the most lucrative and most dangerous responsibility is David Benavidez. But you're a champion, man. And don't look now, the people in charge, they're not willing to pay for you to fight Ham and Eggers. Liam Calum's of the world. No, they want you to see the fight. They want to see you fight the best. Mike Tyson says, I can't believe what I just heard. All right. And he, he's responding to the reports that he turned down a, a $60 million deal. He says, Mike says, what's wrong with Canelo? Is he afraid of losing? Doesn't he want to give the fans a fight they want to see? Don't you want to give the fans a fight that they want to see? He said it twice. He says, do you not respect the legacy of great Mexican champions who face the best regardless of the money? This is a shame for boxing and for Mexico. If I were him, I would accept the fight with Benavidez and show the world that I, that he is the best. Show the world that, that Canelo's the best, right? But it seems he doesn't have the courage to do it. Look at that. He doesn't have the courage to do it. It is a shame because he has a lot of talent, but he lacks heart. Whoa! What? There it is. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Mike Tyson said it. Hey, Canelo fans, let me ask you a question. Why hasn't this fight been made? Oh, well, Devin, I mean, Devin. Oh, well, David hasn't done anything to deserve Canelo. Watch this. One name, two words, Abney Yildrum. Bronx on deck. Move!